Hello students, welcome back to the course or the class. <laughs> I hope that you are enjoying and benefiting from it. So in this lecture or video or maybe the lesson, we will be learning how we can add resources to the Visual Studio project. Resources, I mean maybe files like audio, text files, maybe images or pictures, any, res any kind of resources, how we can add them to the project in the Visual Studio IDE or the Visual Studio platform. So how we can do that? We can do that very easily by heading to the project menu and then going to the project properties. I, uh, I have Windows Application 7 properties, but you may be having something else and then properties. Basically, the, the, the word or the term in the first section is the application or the project name. So the project we are working on now is Windows Application 7 and it's a property. So you may be having another name. So do not say that it's not the same option. It will be the same option uh, in its function. It just will be your project name, then properties. So just the properties of the project. So we can just basically go to this and then go and choose. It might be by default uh, selecting the application category, but just go to the resources category. And then from there, go to the down arrow after the add resources term, click on it and then choose the add existing file option. So we will be adding existing files in my computer or my PC to the project. So I can just basically come to this and choose all the all kind of files or just for example, show me only uh, images or pictures or only icons, for example, or audio or anything. But by the way, when it comes to uh, to audio, the one the Visual Studio will not accept the audio in its MP3 format. It only accepts audio in WAV format. So in the description box, check because I will be putting a link for an online converter that can convert your MP3 files to WAV format files. So you can simply basically add them to your project. And after we add all the resources we have, for example, if they are like images or pictures, how we can use them. When we add a picture box and we learned what is the picture box, in the previous lessons in one of the lessons so when we go to properties and also we learned what is the properties menu we can basically uh, go to the image property and from here we can choose whether we add the picture from the local resource which is we choose it from the computer or the PC files or we just basically come to the project resource file and we will be seeing all the resources we have in the project here which, which resources? The resources, we will be adding them here. After we add them here, whenever we need to run or play any kind of resources like image, video, and uh, maybe a uh, picture, and uh, maybe maybe audio, sorry, maybe audio, we can just basically, when we go to the to the to that tool property and we want to add that thing, like that audio or that image or something, we can either, we whether choose it from the PC or just simply because we already done the uh, done it and we already ha have it in the project itself we can just choose it from the project resources I hope that's easy that the lesson was easy and simple just try it out by your hands because enhanced learning is the best just to try it out if you face any issues just please leave them in the comments down below and they will be checking and responding to them so good luck thank you for watching share the video with your friends I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and see you in the next lecture. Bye.